everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. I just moved to New York City. It's been my dream since the first time I ever came here when I was like 14. Anyways, I am definitely known to make my week in my life, my weekend in my life, all those kind of videos but I wanted to sit down and just like dial in with you guys. I do have a podcast called Gals on the Go with my best friend Brooke Michio. Definitely listen to that new episodes every Wednesday and we give life updates there, but I thought it'd be fun to come to my YouTube channel because I know not everyone listens to the podcast or follows me on Instagram. Definitely go follow me on Instagram. I do Instagram stories um, or Instagram story Q and A's like twice a month. There's just so much to chat about. You guys definitely have questions about like how it is living here if I'm just putting on a show or if that actually is fun, how my, like my relationship with Ryan's changed since we both moved here. There's just lots of questions and that's fair. And I just thought it'd be fun to chat. This is my first time filming a like sit down video since moving to New York City. So that's really, really crazy. Um, and I like the background. I'm like really happy with it. So if you are new here, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ugh, sounds of the city. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. It takes like a second. Just click that button down below so you're notified every time I post a new video which is Wednesday and Sundays I do a lot of vlogs I just thought it was time to do a little a little Q&A so I asked people on my Instagram story to submit their questions and y'all came in hot so thank you for that how much do you miss Finley I can't even like talk about how much I miss him because I miss him like I actually will tear up I miss him that bad um I it's taking me everything in my might to not fly home. I, not that like it's a bad thing to fly home. I just, I'm literally going home for Thanksgiving. So it just feels like really soon, but it's also still a month away. I miss him so bad. I like feel so terrible. Like he's probably just so confused where I am. My mom will send me videos of him like clawing at my door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should be home. Are you homesick? No, not at all. I'm definitely not homesick. I'm thinly sick, but I'm not homesick. It's been, the easiest transition ever. And the only reason I can think is because freshman year of college was a really big transition for me and it was really hard for me. Whereas most people I feel like, I mean, college is a hard transition for a lot of people, but I feel like all of my friends were like, I love it freshman year, go, go, go. Whereas for me now, this first year out of college, I'm like thriving, I'm finally living where I want to and everything's just kind of coming to fruition. Whereas a lot of my friends that had amazing freshman year or like just didn't have as hard of a transition. Now they're kind of having that. I just feel like everyone's on their own path. And I mean, some people just don't ever have it or they have it both times, whatever. There's nothing normal. Like everyone has their own journey, if you will. Um, but for me, I think since I've dreamed of living here for so long, I guess things could have gone wrong and it could have ended up being awful here and I would have hated it, but it hasn't. And it's just like, I, it feels so right to be here, <laughs> it's so crazy. Are you romanticizing New York City or is it really just that awesome? No, I'm really like, <laughs> like I know I've been posting the cheesiest Instagram stories and posts and TikToks, but like it has truly been everything I've dreamed of and more. I, I think it's because I've been here so much prior to actually moving here, I've traveled here almost two times a year, which is not a lot, a lot, I know, but like I really knew what it was going to be like. I didn't know what the Lower East Side was like. I never, when you travel to New York City, you don't usually stay in the Lower East Side, maybe like Soho or nearby, but I never really explored this area because it's more like, I feel like it's more of a livable area, more of an area where post-grads live. So I, it's definitely, that part's newer to me and I'm still getting to know the Lower East Side. Like I hate not knowing what's around me, but I feel like that's just gonna come with time because even Brooks lived here for a year and we'll be walking around and she'll be like, oh, that's a great spot or just turn around the corner and you go there and it's there. I don't know and I hate that I don't know my bearings very well. I mean, I'm getting them. I think it's just gonna come with time, but um, no, New York City is really that awesome and I feel like everyone that lives here is so happy to live here I'm not saying everyone's walking around with a smile on their face, but There's just this energy and if you've been to New York City I feel like you know it and if it matches your energy it truly just it aligns Like everyone here is like this and that's how I am. So it's just great Is there a big change in things being more expensive in New York versus Florida? Oh my gosh, I like I knew, you know, everyone says, oh, New York's so expensive and I was prepared for rent. I knew that was gonna be expensive, but just like on the daily, I feel like eating out and going for drinks and stuff like that is a big social activity here. Not that it's not in other cities, but especially here because everyone in New York City, I feel like is so busy. 
everyone does need to eat so i feel like it's like oh let's grab drinks like literally tonight we've been trying to hang out with this person and it's like oh let's get drinks that night like after my event and it's like that's money that's money spent and drinks here are not cheap they are not university of georgia bar drink prices that's all i have to say about that like literally a cocktail for 17 dollars, and that's like normal here like what um, and so like I knew that like when I traveled here, I guess I didn't think much about it So it's like oh, I'm in New York City for the weekend all splurge, but now I like live here so I'm definitely having to learn how to budget and you know say no to things sometimes I'm really fortunate that I can spend the money, but also I do like to save I do like to invest in things so it's not sustainable for me to be spending so much money all the time so I'm definitely learning and I think the first few months living here it's kind of like a learning curve and then I'll start to slow down and figure out like ways to socialize without having to break the bank every time. What has been the hardest thing about adjusting to New York? I like saw this question earlier and I was trying to think of something to answer for this. I think in a weird way, the transportation, I'm very used to driving everywhere. I mean, I love to be able to walk places. It's awesome, but you have to account for your walk. So if I'm getting ready, I'm in a rush. I have to count for, oh, it's a 20 minute walk still, or I can take an Uber, but it's so expensive. Or I can take a train and it's $2 or $2.75, but I have to walk 10 minutes to the train station and then get in the train and then who knows if it's gonna be there at that time and then you have to wait. There's just like, it's hard to, unless you're walking there, I guess it's hard to really be able to tell how long it's gonna take to get somewhere. And I think also my hard thing has just been there's no consistency in my life right now, which is fine. I'm all for the chaotic energy, like do this today, this tomorrow, like all over the place. I'm just trying to say yes to a lot of opportunities. Um, but it would be nice to have some sort of consistency. I feel like I'm perpetually on this vacation and like I live here now. I know I keep saying like I live here now, but it's true. Um, so just finding a routine I think is a challenge for me and I know I'll get there. I just think it's gonna look a little different than places I've lived in the past. Any exciting upcoming projects? Honestly, like no. <laughs> I feel like it's such a thing as an influencer to be like exciting projects coming. I'm sure eventually there will be, but right now I'm just focusing on getting my feet on the ground. I'm not starting anything new. A big project was like the Gals on the Go rebrand, but a project we're working on right now publicly is um, our new Gals on the Go office, Gals on the Go HQ. So we're going through renovations for that. So that's kind of like the big project I'm working on. Um, and then as I don't want to rush anything, I don't want to force anything. There's something I've always wanted to do that I'm just waiting for the right time and to have that true spark. I don't believe in like doing something because you feel like you have to. Like even with TikTok, like I know it's really popular and everyone's like, you got to be making TikToks all the time. I don't want to make a TikTok unless like it feels right. Like when I post a TikTok, it's because I was feeling it in that moment. I wanted to post it because that's how my YouTube became the way it was. I started YouTube when I was 12 years old in 2010 when a lot of people didn't make YouTube videos and I only posted videos when I wanted to, when I was enjoying it. I never felt like, oh, if I post this many videos, I'll make this much money and la la la. I didn't even know you can make money on YouTube. So that's just kind of how I live my life. And yes, now I have a schedule with my YouTube videos, but like obviously I love it. But for TikTok and just projects and stuff, I want to do it when it feels right. If I meet the right person or the right connection or... If I'm feeling inspired in that moment, that's kind of how I roll. So no secret upcoming projects as of now. Who knows? So many people asking about engagement and like being engaged to Ryan, like when that's gonna happen. Um, everyone's on their own timeline, but that's something like Ryan and I have not talked about at all. Like that is not, I mean, not that I don't see, like, not that I don't love him or like see myself with him, but it's more so Neither of us see that in the near future. So I'll just set those rumors down now. Because we both moved to New York City at the same time and we both knew it was gonna be such a transition. That's why we decided not to live together because it was just gonna be so much change at once. Um, and I'm so happy we stuck with that. I, I think we're just trying to see like how our relationship is here in the city. Um, with that, there are so many questions asking like what my relationship is like now that we've moved here. Um, it's the same. I mean, it's different in the sense that, and like I knew this, that in college there were, you know, sorority and fraternity date nights. There were, like, we had all the same friends. Like, there was just so much to do. And we were in school and it was just a little bit lighter. And now it's like we're in the big leagues, which we knew was going to happen. But it's been good. Like, he's still, like, he's my rock. Like, if I'm feeling anxious or wound up, I know, like, when I hang out with him, he's just 
such a rock he's just so steady and i just love him for that he's just such a sweet calming soul and he doesn't even like try to which is so annoying he's just like ryan and um i'm just so thankful for that and we're trying to be better about like doing date nights the one thing and i've talked about this on the podcast is his job is super time consuming i mean he wakes up at 6 a.m every morning and he'll usually be done with work around six or seven but then he also likes to work out which is really really important to him so i totally understand that he started working out in the morning instead um so that when he's done with work he like has more free time um but like for me i'm working all day too which is really nice so like during the day it's not a problem that he's working i'm like out doing stuff whatever it may be but then at night sometimes i'm like ready to wind down and like he might still be working and i'm not complaining at all it's just like how it is um and sometimes by the time he's done with work he's exhausted he doesn't want to go try this new restaurant or even go for a walk like he's just tired and wants to like sit and watch football which i totally understand so we're just finding that balance of like how to like still like be cute and be because i'm like that like i am a romantic i like to still do cute things i don't care how long we've been dating i want to enjoy our relationship so we do get to see each other every day pretty much which is really nice um because we live really close to each other so it's really really nice and i'm really thankful for that because even if it's just for 15 minutes, it doesn't feel like a waste because we live so close. We honestly see each other more now because in college, there would be days we literally didn't see each other because we actually lived further away from each other in college. Um, and we both had different schedules or, if, or not that we don't now, but we'd be like, one of us would have a test or whatever it may be. So we actually see each other more now in that sense um but honestly we just live for the weekends well like he does especially i am really grateful i have a more flexible schedule um so during the week like we don't do like sleepovers or anything during the week literally ever um but then like friday to sunday we're together most of the time which is really nice but then it's hard because my other friends work all week too so i want to see them on the weekend when they're off it's just tough like it's just kind of finding that balance of scheduling and like how we can like maintain like a good relationship but in the sense of communication we're good love we're good i mean all that it's good it's just adjusting to the schedules i think which i fully expected do you regret not moving in with ryan definitely not um i don't know if you guys watch the vlogs but he lived with me for like a week before he was able to move into his apartment and honestly um we were like this to each other we didn't like fight or anything but with his work so he works from home completely right now and not really sure when that's gonna change but um they're like all video calls and so my apartment's not that big so he'd be like on a video call like talking like hey how's it going yep yep got that done and i'm like trying to vlog like i, I also work from home or i couldn't be too loud or whatever it may be and that was for a temporary amount of time but i don't know how we'd be living together right now like he's working right now and I'm filming this video and if he was working in my kitchen, he would have been like that. This like literally wouldn't have worked. So for that sense, it's a really good thing. I think if we ever did live together, we would not both be able to be working from home or have a co-working space or something. We do have this gals on the go office, but like obviously I vlog from home. People like seeing my at home vlogs, cleaning my closet, like whatever it may be. So that just like wouldn't work. Or we would need like two rooms, something like that. Um, but yeah, no definitely affirmed and we live so close it's the best it's the best of both worlds i get to have like my alone time i get to decorate exactly how i want to he does too so a lot of people ask me do you see yourself getting a corporate job getting a job i wanted to see this might sound really bad but i wanted to see like how busy i truly was going to be just working for myself just doing the podcast youtube not even i don't want to say just because i do a lot i have two videos a week we have the podcast i'm constantly going to events and meetings and meeting with people networking and I think it's just because there's so many more opportunities in New York. I Today is the first day I've had like time between like 1 o'clock and 7 p.m. of like no, like nothing. That's not trying to flex or anything. It's just the truth. And so I'm definitely trying to see if like there's going to be times I'm bored because I like to... I like to be busy a lot and I have been um, I don't really see how I could have another job right now um, but it's not to say it's something I wouldn't consider in the future if the time felt right but right now there's definitely no time and I'm loving what I'm doing I haven't felt bored or burnt out or anything I'm really enjoying what I'm doing I'm loving getting more into fashion and expressing myself through that and um, working more on gals on the go podcast and my videos and thinking of new content and reels and TikToks and just 
having more fun and like this literally is what I do full time now so I don't have to worry about studying for a test or getting homework done which is so crazy to think about. So as of right now I don't see that happening but again like I would be open to it in the future um, because I do like being a part of a community. People asking about my travel plans. So this weekend I'm going to Athens. I couldn't stay away. It's the homecoming football game at UGA. It's against Kentucky and right now UGA is number one in football so um, it's going to be a really exciting time. A lot of my friends are coming back to Athens this weekend too, including Delaney, so I'm really excited to see all of them. Some of my hallmates are coming back this weekend. Ryan's going down this weekend. It's just gonna be a really fun time, like a little mini alumni weekend, if you will. And I'm actually going with Kyle Cabin Jewelry. They have the most beautiful jewelry ever. They have a ton of different universities and colleges. They just added UGA. So to kind of celebrate the launch, they're launching it in Athens with me this weekend. So I'm really excited. It's such a full circle moment to get to work with a brand as an opportunity and fly down with them. So cool. So it's gonna be really fun. I will be going to Polly's. I'm literally going to my lash girl. I'm getting a spray tan there. Like I'm going to all my people. Like I'm literally so excited. It's gonna be really weird though, not staying in my apartment. Georgia Heights, baby, Athens, Georgia. Georgia Heights apartments are the best. Um, I'm gonna be staying at a hotel, which is so weird to me, but it'll also be kind of fun. So we'll see. And then in November, Brooke and I are going to LA for a week to kind of meet with our whole team. We haven't been to LA, LA in a, LA. We haven't been to LA in a really, really long time, and we thought it would be a good time because it might be a little chillier here. We'll get some warmth. And we get to like see our agent, our manager, our podcast people, just the whole group. And then other than that, going home for Thanksgiving, going home for winter break. <laughs> winter break, I'm making myself a winter break. I don't really know the dates, but I'll be going home for the holidays in general. And that's it, but you never know. Things always pop up at me, so we'll see what else I do. But I'm really trying to like enjoy New York in the fall. I heard it's beautiful. How is living by yourself again? This is a great question. So if you guys don't know, I actually lived alone sophomore year of college. Absolutely loved it. Um, it was incredible. And then I lived with Delaney for junior and senior year, which I'm so happy I did. It was so much fun. But Delaney doesn't live here and I really wanted to live alone and I am so happy. It has been amazing because I'm literally out all day being social. So by the time I get home, I'm like, ah, charge up my social battery. So it's been good and I'm happy with the decision. So yeah, that ends this video, mainly because my camera's about to die. So I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoy this Q and A. Let me know more videos you guys want to see. Don't worry, the vlogs will still be coming. And subscribe if you guys are new here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.